What is up? I've literally just got back from Canic Chase. I decided not to take the it's kind of uh, difficult camera work here. There we go. I decided not to take the Carrera um, update on the bike. I put some silicon. Um, let me just change the camera angle. So now we are back out of um, selfie mode, kind of on the phone, whatever you call it. So uh, yeah, which one? The rear brake here that was sticking. Put some uh, silicon. I was going to say silicon sealant then. Um, just some uh, raw like silicon, basically that I use to lubricate my treadmill. Let it seep in. Job is a good one. It's not quite as violent as that one but the silicon is thicker than you know spraying gt85 and getting your silicon fixed that way does it have silicon in i don't know anyway so i was just upstairs in the office throwing some uh footage together in the editor and i realized i forgot to mention that i actually tightened up a few spokes on the front wheel um in the video i did yesterday i just did a quick like yeah 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 i actually checked all of the spokes and there were two or three on the front that were they weren't super loose but they needed tightening they would end up you know giving you a ding in the rim um i won't show you but the the wheel does have a the, the tiny i wouldn't call it buckled it has the tiniest little deviation like one mil um or so over like a massive you know like quarter of the wheel or something so nothing major could be two things it could be that my sexual legs provide better suspension than the suntour forks which is what i put my money on or it could just be that the rear wheel because the rear wheel didn't need any um spokes tightening it could be that these are from different batches if you get me so you know all of those wheels made by idiots and uh all of these wheels made by fucking robot ninjas or something well they, i imagine they were like both machine built but can you can an idiot like fuck up a machine built wheel i don't know so it must be my uh sexy legs are just better than some tours I, actually i'd be offended if they weren't to be honest so yeah, I didn't take the career. I actually took the HR Vitus, as I like to call it, uh, the trail trail bike, the 26-inch bike, whatever you want to call it. And I was actually astonished. Um, I was recording with Strava, and I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't know about the accuracy, but apparently it's only um, it's bloody camera work. It's only three seconds slower. <laughs> on this bike however there is a bit of a disclaimer because the section that i was riding on the monkey trail um lower cliff it when it's really dry it gets really loose and there's pebbles everywhere and it's um it's not the best the berms are okay but it's coming out of the berms the flat bits where for some reason all of the stones seem to congregate the little rounded pebble things yeah um i don't know I, I don't know why they make the choice of using that material there must be a reason for it but if you go to if i remember off the back of my head i mean this is going back years probably like seven or eight years i remember going to dolby forest and you know everything was sharp and angular maybe it's because they don't want to really make money at the bike shop that's you know swinnerton cycles maybe they don't want to make loads of money um, selling inner tubes or well a lot of people run tubeless nowadays but anyway um yeah so i don't know why they do that but them things are just nasty when they, they start to get loose and uh yeah it got loose i i didn't nearly come off because i know i expect it you know experience tells you to watch coming out of the corners rather than just uh how fast you're going into the corner and around the corner so yeah, um, yesterday was, you know, there was puddles, they were the main problem. So 
I don't know. I had problems yesterday with the puddles. Today I had problems coming out of the corners, but it was still fun. It was nice and dry. And one thing I did notice was the full suspension bike. I mean, I'm kind of pumping the trail and compressing the suspension, and I was easily getting airborne on it. It was just natural. It goes in the air, whereas the Carrera, you kind of have to force it in the air. Not that you'd really want to go too big on it because it'd probably explode into a million pieces so anyway i'm going to throw up some footage after this uh bit of me waffling on and it's basically going to compare the uh two bikes and as i say it's not the rider it is the rider no i meant to say it's not the bike it's the rider if the rider is shit i.e me um you know, shit bike, good bike, don't make a difference really. So I just got to the edit station and then I realised um, I wasn't actually recording for my fastest run of the day, which was my last run. So um, I'm going to pick the next fastest run. I can't remember off the top of my head how fast it was, but uh, I can't imagine it's it, there's much difference. So... I just thought, to be official, somebody may point out when they realise that both of the bikes have done the trail in the same time that what I said about three seconds is a load of bollocks. So anyway, cue the footage, let's go. Me again, you just can't get rid of me. So I just had a look at the Strava times and the fourth run that I did was the fastest um, one that I recorded with the GoPro. I did six runs in total, I think. The sixth one being the fastest because I was just, I just, I wasn't intending to go fast and I just thought, fuck it, why not? So the fourth run was one second quicker than I did it on the Carrera. <laughs> just one second. Um, all I can say is it's got to be the conditions. The bike felt so much quicker and just. I could launch it. It was just popping off stuff. Um, so yeah, it. I will be interested to see when I throw this footage together, um, just what is going on and where I'm losing speed. If I'm losing speed on the uh, the full source, and just a piece of random general knowledge, this thing right here. You see that little black speck there. Underneath my grubby, that needs biting off long fingernail. That is a spider. Get the fuck out of my office, you fucking cunt.
So, in conclusion, the footage is so damn close. One thing I did notice, there was one or two sections where on the Carrera I was pedalling and on the uh, Vetus I didn't pedal. I was also having more fun with the Vetus. You may have seen as I'm going over the um, kickers, let's call them. I'm kind of attempting to throw a pathetic bit of style in there on turning my bars like about two degrees um so yeah i the the only thing i can think is that the conditions were more favorable to the carrera because it was a bit wet providing a bit more grip the ground was a bit tackier um and i mean another factor is obviously i rode about 19 miles yesterday i think it was and uh so yeah i am not the freshest i was gonna have a recovery day today but i just wanted to fucking ride i don't know why I don't know why i want to ride it's ridiculous so yeah we shall probably maybe do some more videos in the future on the carrera i'm gonna upgrade it upgrading it's a bit shitty to be honest so Reason being, it's got a one and one eighth inch steerer. Yes, so I'm very limited to more old school kind of forks. But the problem with that is it's also um, 27.5 inch 650B, whatever you want to call it, wheel size. So uh, I was I saw on the internet earlier that Fox Forks, the some of the Fox Forks, the older ones fit also fit um by chance um 650b wheels so yeah very limited when it comes to upgrading my 26 inch the vetus that even has a tapered steerer yeah the carrera doesn't have a tapered steerer one and one eighth like my very first ever carrera that i had like 11 21 no, no, fucking 21. No, I was, I was about 14, 20 years ago. Fuck me. Oh, I'll be dead soon. Yeah, might as well kill myself on a Carrera.